everyone. This was a, a theatre that was in Uruguay and it was just the loveliest performance and we actually went back twice to watch it. It was so good. Um, it's always difficult painting dark backgrounds in watercolour and so with this black paper it's a little bit of an experiment. Uh, the first thing that I've done is I've put my normal colours from my palette just to see which ones show up and which ones don't. And I've also added some metallic ones which will sort of help if I'm losing the colour completely. So I'm going to start with a little bit of white just because that's my brightest colour and there's some pure white sort of here. I've drawn it out with um, a pastel. Because I felt that that would help me to place things. There's not a lot of white on this, but I just want those real highlights to show up. It's possibly going to have a bit of silver on it later. But I'm just placing the light. Got some lovely patterns on here. And the lizards. Oh, we just do patterns. Okay. So I sort of established those colours. Let's go for a nice strong red now. So I'm going for a cadmium red. I'm hoping this will show up nicely. I make the paint a little bit thicker than I normally would. Coat there. Oh, there's some bits of red on orange on here, but we're just Put that on now so that we balance that. The vibrant on the black. So what I'm doing is I'm mixing it with some white. Oh, yeah, that's actually much lower down and that's her neck that comes that way. Put that right in a minute. Some more white in there that we can pop in in a little bit. That's nice and colourful. Okay, I think some orange next. Cadmium orange shows up really nicely. for that white that I've missed on his um lapel just there. I'm getting very happy with this and there's not a lot of she's got a black dress on so I don't want something that's going to show up too much for the lights. Now what I think I'll do is I'll just water down some of the white. Or, no, no, I know what I'm going to do. Let's finish everything that isn't metallic first, and then we will go for something metallic. So he's got a white mask, but that's in shadow. So I'm just going to add a little bit of mauve, just to make it a grey. Let's get that shape. I'm going with the darks and the other colour in a minute. And just wash that out 
it a little bit. That seems to come off of this paper quite easily, so that's quite a good exercise. Let's just. Oh, that's back to the paper. How, how brilliant is that? I think now I use some light red. Now I'll try it on its own first. And that's fine for the dark bits. But where their skin is quite light, I think we're going to have to mix some white in with that. So that seems to be working by mixing some opaque white with anything that we want to be just a little bit more powerful against the black. And our hand. It's moving, so don't worry too much. It's nice to get the movement in there. Move those two closer to each other. And um, let's mask that. So I think a lot more white. It's a sort of dirty colour. And that orange flower. like it did. Um, so I think that'll be the end of the normal paints and then we'll go in with some metallic. Right, let's just concentrate on her dress for the moment and I'm going to go for those bits that are light on her black coat I'm just going to use a graphite um, metallic paint and I think that might do it. Try and leave the dark bits of the paper dark. need to work it quite well. A bit of shadow there. Now yeah, that's sort of giving me the right amount. And that is very dark there so we don't need to do anything with that. And then we've got her skirt with the pleats in. Just where Light hits it. This is incredible, this paper. Now I'm going to go for some silver. Because we have this lovely metallic sort of Some silver, I think, on here. Oh, yeah, I think that, that's good. Well, it's creating plenty of movement. I'm really happy with that. Uh, I'll wash out the silver a little bit. Just for the light that's hitting that there. And he's got a longer jacket, like you can see now, there's a little bit of orange that's coming down there, and that will show up 
Well, that's that's good. Now some metallic reds, greens, blues, all of those will be great in this coat. And a hat. There's lots of colour down there. Again, work them quite well. Amazing coat. I'm going to get some gold into that. And some red. If you're not sure what colour it's going to come out, you can just check your colour chart. Um, we've got two there and I think that's the better one to use. shape on there. Now, do we want some normal yellow in there? Maybe we do. Let's just go for a little bit of cadmium yellow. And a bit more white. It's a bit sort of not picking out every single detail, that doesn't matter. Let's go for a little bit of red on the mask. And back into that graphite for that hat there. Because you can hardly see that. With a little bit of green on it. Well, that's, that's sort of getting the effect I want. Um, more green colour there, and I think I might add just a little bit of cobalt blue into that. So the two together just mix really well. I'm going to try and get rid of some of my chalk lines and I'm just going to use that graphite because not everything is black black. He has got quite a lot of shine. And that just works quite well. That's running, that adds movement just like a normal painting. in there too. Oh, God. That graphite hat the other side. I'm 
a bit of silver there, I think, for the brim. And then I'm going to go for a dark just to get those eyes in. So just a normal dark. I'm going to mix a sepia and a Prussian blue together. Let's just get that dark eye. dark. Alright, need to um, get some graphite on. A few little darks. We mixed up that sepia and that Prussian blue. Dark spot there. just adding a few little darks. They're not taking too well but I think the thing is to just try this out and see what works and what doesn't. Okay, I think that's some pigtails. That might be quite nice to include. Some nice bits there. I think maybe use bits of gold and a few little dots dangly. And that will show that up quite nicely. It's true, it's just a little bit strange that some. the darks on that. So it's a very, very thick sepia. So just as you would normally. Just getting the dark back into that. Oh, just underneath that hairline, a bit of shadow there. And I need a little bit of white in that. Just bring back the shape of that. So that looks a bit tired here, yeah, get some light back into that. That's quite light. So we're just bringing back some of the highlights, just by adding some white. I think that's probably as much as we can do. It does feel like the atmosphere, it feels like you're there in the dark and um, yeah that's that's worked well on the black paper, I'm pleased with that. So thank you for watching.